Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 32, and this is war number 10. And we're going up against an alliance called Overpowering Light. All right, so let's go in here. We're gonna go in here like this. And let's see, so they've banned Ghost, Doom, and Human Torch. Let's preview, see what we got in store make our plans of team. I take path three. Ooh, I got to fight two people here. Hmm. All right. So we've got Omega Red. Warlock is good for Omega Red. We've got Warlock. Warlock is good for Warlock. Uh, let's see. We've got Killmonger. Hmm. I mean, I can do that with... Um, Perhaps Nick Fury. That could be a, an option there. Let's see. We've got Domino. Warlock could take that Domino. Uh, we've got Korg. I'll be leaving Korg alone there. All right, we've got uh, Apocalypse. If I bring Spider-Man 2099, he could do that fight, perhaps. All right, now we've got Silver Centurion. Hmm. Honestly, uh, Warlock could do that fight too. I mean, Black Widow can do it, but Warlock could do that. Penny Parker, annoying, but if I brought Black Widow, she could do that. Iron Man Infinity War. Hmm, Warlock could do that. And we've got Magneto. We already know Spider-Man 2099 can do that because we've done that before. So maybe that's what I'll do. Uh, let's see. Instead of Nick Fury, I'll bring in Spider-Man 2099. I'll bring in Warlock. And I'll bring in Black Widow Clairvoyant. That Killmonger there. Mm. Maybe I'll let them go ahead and take that one. See if they can uh, deal with him. And if I have time, I'll try to grab that domino. And if I wake up, I can grab that apocalypse. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So Warlock, Black Widow Clairvoyant, and um, Spider-Man 2099 for the boss. Yeah, I think that'll do it. That Killmonger. I'm trying to think. I mean, Claire could do it, but that's not, I don't think that would be an ideal fight for her. Same thing with Warlock. So I'll, I'll see what they do if, if nobody has taken him by the time I wake up. I may, uh, I may just go ahead and fight him. Probably with Claire. And then Warlock for pretty much these guys. Yeah. And these guys. And then Spider-Man 2099 for that one there. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. All right. That's the plan. Let's get on with the fighting. All right, we're back. And that's the team I'm going in with. I'll show you the band champions in a moment here. There we go. Uh, didn't affect me. So I was able to bring in the champs that I wanted. There is a Magneto boss, and I was hoping to fight him with uh, Spider-Man 2099, but I did not get to do so uh, in this war. Um, but I have fought him in the past, so uh, you guys can take a look at that fight. All right, so first up, we've got Omega, Se uh, not Omega Sentinel, Woo, Omega Red. I got Omega Sentinel on the mind because she's coming to the arena soon and she looks juicy. 
Uh, but anyway, Omega Red, uh, Warlock is a great option. He's a robot, so I don't have to really worry about all those um, spores or whatever uh, Omega Red has. And the only thing I have to worry about on this node is the shock. And the shock, honestly, doesn't do that much in the way of damage. So, uh, I'm, uh, I am losing a little bit of health, but it's really not that much. Okay? So look at that. Not much health uh, lost. So, great option for uh, that first fight. Uh, I remember I was worried about that shock in the past, and I was like, man, I got to, you know, bring in a shock immune or something. But I find it's easier just to not even worry about it, focus on a good counter, and get them down quickly. All right, now, I don't like fighting Warlock, but Warlock is a great option for fighting Warlock. There are other options, but... Warlock does just fine, and that's who I brought in. Uh, in one of my line groups, someone was trying to decide between Warlock and Guillotine 2099 to take up. Pretty sure you know who I recommended. Uh, my Warlock is ranked 3, my Guillotine 29 D9 is ranked 2. And likely to stay there for quite some time. I I'm not really the biggest fan of hers, even though I know she is good, and I've used her. But Warlock is just more useful, and he's funny. You know, his animations and everything are hilarious. So, yeah, had to use him. And look at that. Not much health lost at all. Okay? Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Warlock. In fact, uh, I showed a screenshot uh, of my Warlock info page, which showed that, um, oh, man, they call me all the time. Uh, that showed he was in war. And that kind of supported my uh, favoritism <laughs> when it comes to Warlock. All right, so I did not take that Killmonger. I was worried about fighting Killmonger with the champs that I had. Um, I would have done it anyway. Probably would have used Warlock. Now, uh, that little mini was already taken when I woke up. And so <clears throat> all I had to do was deal with, uh, was it Silver Centurion? And of course, I have uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant, who just tears it up. Now, I know uh, some folks are like, man, you need to use uh, Nebula. Nebula rocks this particular uh, node. And that's true. But one, Nebula is not all the way ranked up. And two, I like Claire more. She seems to be more useful, has more utility, and can do more fight. She's more flexible. Um, so since both of them can do the fight, I'm going to go with Claire. I already have her ranked up to three, and uh, I like her. I like her. She's probably my favorite mystic. All right, so... Just look at this. Burst damage. I put her into the uh, Hellfire phase. We're just tearing it up. Boom, boom, boom. And he's down. Now, this next fight is actually an annoying one. This one was uh, my most difficult fight this war. And it is against Penny Parker. Now, Penny Parker on this particular node is a good option because the way you normally fight Penny Parker, you want to hit into her block a lot of times, uh, get those charges down, then you don't have to worry so much about that spontaneous shield and auto-blocking. But on this one, you have explosive personality. So if you do that, you're going to be building up a lot of her uh, armor. But Claire can nullify the armor up so that you're not dealing with an unblockable and you see I'm starting to use heavy attacks here and that's what I found to be uh, the most effective against uh, Penny but you'll see that I kind of experiment a little bit alright you see here I'm just like okay and every time I would get 
you know, damage uh, from her uh, sink shield like that. I'm like, oh boy, look at my health. She's not even hitting me. I'm just killing myself. And so you see, I went back to doing uh, heavy attacks. See? Um, and I'm seeing, you know what? That's probably the way I need to go um, fighting her. That's actually how I fight her in AQ as well. All right, so you see there, I tried it again and got that auto block once more. So again, heavy attack. And I'm saving my special three because I want the special three to finish her. Okay, that's why I didn't fire the special three. I almost messed up. I had the special three, I, fight, I fought, and then got power drained and didn't have a special three anymore. But yeah, that seems to be the way to fight her. Just look at my health after that fight. So, lesson learned, next time I have to face her there, I'm going to do a lot of heavy attacks. Um, Claire can do it, as you saw. Um, Warlock can do it. I just have to do a lot of heavy attacks. Now, we've got the mini. My alliance mate <clears throat> tried uh, and, and died to this Infinity War Iron Man. And... I was like, okay, I'm going to have to clean it up. But I know that because of the node, he's going to heal up. Before I can get my infections on him, he's going to heal up. Maybe not to full, but he's going to heal. Okay, boom, look at that. Healed already. I have my armor up when I come into the fight. Bam, he's healing. Okay. So right here, I'm just trying to build up the infections. There we go. All right. So he... You know, regain quite a bit of health, but we should be good. I'm able to fire off a special two. He's starting to auto block. All right. He didn't punish that, which was good. Okay. But we, we're good. We're good. We just got to wait. We just got to wait a little bit. He tried to regen, but that didn't work. And we finished him off with a heavy attack. All right. So that's the last fight for this war. And we'll be back in a moment, uh, in a little bit, in a very short time. And you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back and we won this war. I think we're pretty solid in um, Platinum 4. That's pretty much what we've been all throughout the time I've been with this alliance. And I think we're pretty solid um, in Platinum 4. I don't think, uh, even if we lost the last few uh, couple of wars, uh, I don't think we're going to be knocked out of Platinum 4. But of course, we want to win anyway. All right, so that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.